Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to make a nice but simple twinkling star background for your website. You can use it in your portfolio or a landing page for your website. This tutorial is about 15 minutes long. You can also grab the source code from the link below. To make this animation effect, there's not much HTML, CSS. The biggest part is to draw the stars in the canvas. Now let's get started. Uh, first of all, create a HTML file. Name it index.html. I also put the browser page at the bottom of the screen so you can see the result after each refresh. So in this HTML file, in the body area, let's create a div, give it an ID, banner, and that's the container for the canvas in our caption. So make a canvas tag, give it an ID canvas. And we also want to add a title. So I created a div with the word hello world. Of course you can change it to whatever you like. Refresh the page you will get the hello world. But that's just all about it for now. And our second file is style.css. So we give the banner a relative position in the width of 800 pixel, a height of 600 pixel. And for the canvas, give it a background color. The hex code is hash061445. This is a beautiful night sky color and uh, we set it as our background. We also style the canvas with a position absolute and top zero, left zero. This will make the canvas have the whole area of the parent container. After refresh, there's nothing changed because we haven't linked the style file into the HTML. So doing this, I just go to the head, put a link and link to the style.css. You don't need a pass for the style sheet. And then refresh again. The style looks like this for now. The next thing we want to do is to draw the stars in the canvas. To do this, we need to create an index.js file. Uh, first, we need to embed the index.js into the HTML file with a source point to the index.js and then go back to the index.js file. Uh, so first, let's select the canvas, give it a variable canvas dot cumin dot get element by id canvas so this is our canvas variable and then create another variable called context this variable call canvas get context con function you use this function to get access to the canvas tag and put 2d as a parameter 2D means two-dimensional drawing. And then we need to create a variable to store all our stars. Initially, we put an empty array. Let's create a function called init. The init function set up the width and height of the canvas to the same as the parent element banner select the banner canvas dot white equal to banner dot offset white canvas dot height equal to banner dot offset height and run init. Now the size 
is the same as the parent div. What we also want to do here is to fill up the stars array with every star object. We use a for loop to achieve this. For this example, I wanted to create uh, 200 stars, so the length of the array is set to 200. And for each loop, I push in a object with an x set to use mass dot random, y set to mass dot random, and uh, another property called size, which is also a random number. And the size of the star is changing from small to big. So we need another property called change. Let's just give it a value of uh, 0.15. It is uh, important to point out that the math.random function returns a floating number, floating point in the range of 0 to 1 inclusive of, of 0, not 1. The x and y are the position number for our stars. And they are from 0 to 1. So if later we multiply with the whole canvases, y's and heights, all the stars will be able to fall in every, every place of the canvas. And that's what we want. And then we want to create another function called update. This function is to make the star grow bigger with each update. So for each star, we want to add the change to the size. So star dot size plus equal to change, star dot change, which is uh, 0 0.15. And then it's the function to draw the stars. We call it render. Um, so first of all, get the width and the height of the canvas. And then call the context dot clear rect, clear rect to reset the canvas after each draw. Um, so our star are little circles. So for each star, we are going to draw a circle using the context method. So it starts with begin pass and then context.arc. Uh, the parameters are the x, y position and the, the radius of the circle, uh, which is the size we multiple three times. And then zero. So the two mass dot pi make it a whole circle. For, for more information about the arc method, you can pause the video to have a look. The next thing to do here is to fill color to the circles. And that's the star. Yeah, the color for our star is white here. And then you also need to call the fill function. And now let's call the render and say What's the result? As you can see, there, there are black circles there, but the color is not white. Um, let's see what's wrong with the code. And actually, it, it's not fill color, it should be fill style. 
if you want to set the color and now it's all good and now we successfully get our image of the stars in the night sky uh, but what we need to do is make an animation effect the stars become bigger and let's create a function called twinkle um, inside the function we call the upper date and the render the star should be able to grow uh, we also need to set interval for the twinkle function to execute uh, in a every 100 milliseconds As we fresh, you can see that the star uh, it is growing. It has become bigger and bigger. Uh, okay, and that's not exactly what we want. And uh, let's fix it. The problem is in the update function because. On each update, we are adding numbers to the size, so it only grow bigger. And we need to use an if statement to check the size. If the size is small, we add a positive number. If the size is big, then we add a negative number. So here, if the size is more than 0 0.9 then we make the change uh, minus 0 0.1 so once the size is big enough it will become smaller and uh, let's refresh and you can see it works fine it's twinkling just like the stars in the night um, but compare with the final canvas, we also want to make the stars to float to the right side of the canvas. Um, that's prettier than the current one, so um, it, it's quite simple to do. Uh, we just need to, in the update function, to add a code uh, star.x plus equal to 0 0.001 so on each update it will move to the left a little bit so it will make the floating effect as you can see that now the stars are floating to the right but there's another problem the stars will all float to the right and finally disappear so in order to fix this, um, it's quite simple. Uh, if the X position is more than one, that means it's out of the canvas. Let's set it back to the beginning of the canvas, which is zero. And now if we fresh, we get that there will be more stars coming from the left to supply. And now we've uh, finally made this nice floating and uh, twinkling stars um, and uh, one last thing to do is to add the title so it's, it's a bit better to have a title in front of the um, your background so uh, in order to do this let's add some style to the title so remember the title is inside the div and the div is inside the banner so select the id banner div and div um, then give it a position absolute uh, it has to be absolute because we want the title to be in the middle of the canvas Top and left both set to 50%. Uh, font size 
can set it to 3 EM. Um, color is white. And it's important to set the in Z index to 1. Otherwise, it would be underneath the canvas, so we can't see it. Uh, after set to 1, we'll be able to see it. So after refresh, you can see that the hollow wood is not exactly in the middle. Uh, it's because hollow wood itself is a, like a box, so it also occupies the space. Only the nef left top corner is 50%, 50%. Uh, to fix this, you just need to do a transform translate to minus 50%, minus 50%. Then it will style these words in to the center of the canvas. And now let's refresh. And then it is right. And that's pretty much everything about how to make this effect. I hope this video is useful for you. And this is my very first video on how to make animation effect uh, using JavaScript. Uh, my feeling now is like this. So uh, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you so much.